It seems to me that impeachment is an itch that doesn't go away with just one scratch. It also seems that President Trump may be most likely to be impeached when he is correct. Before the last presidential impeachment, President Trump rightly pointed out the improper activities of the Biden crime family, and subsequently he's been proven right. And don't think for a moment, Madam Speaker, that we're going to drop that or stop our pursuit for the truth. Before that, we had the Russia hoax, where you had the president rightly making claims that Hillary Clinton and the DNC were colluding with Russians to disorient our democracy. How right he turned out to be. And then we have the 2020 presidential election, where the president correctly pointed out unconstitutional behavior, voting irregularities, concerns over tabulations, dead people voting, and now impeachment again. When they go low, we kick them. Eric Holder, former attorney general under Barack Obama, breaching the Capitol was as low as low can be. We all denounce it. But who is it that they're kicking? The president, who created soaring highs for our economy, rising wages before the pandemic, 400 miles of wall to stop the caravans, who drew down troops in the Middle East and showed empathy for the forgotten men and women of our country. It's why so many people love him so much, and it's why they're kicking all of us. This president has faced unprecedented hatred and resistance from big media, big tech, and big egos, from congressional leaders on both sides of the aisle. Before the rioters tore through that glass, Speaker Pelosi stood at that rostrum and tore through the president's State of the Union speech, inciting anger, resentment, division. Some believe that truly these true colors are being shown now through this divisive partisan impeachment. The Speaker of the House, I would request an additional 40 seconds. Excuse, excuse, go through the Speaker, please. The gentleman from Ohio. Madam Speaker, I yield the gentleman an additional 40 seconds. The, uh, 40 four seconds. seconds or 40 seconds? Yep, 40 seconds. 40 I think, I think 45 the, seconds. I thank the gentleman. The Speaker said to us just moments ago, words matter. But apparently those words don't matter when they're uttered by Democrats. When the gentlelady from Massachusetts calls for unrest in the streets. When the gentlelady from California brazenly brags that she called for people to get in the faces of those who serve and support the President. I denounce political violence from all ends of the spectrum, but make no mistake, the left in America has incited far more political violence than the right. For months, our cities burned, police stations burned, our businesses were shattered, and they said nothing. Or they cheerled for it, and they fundraised for it, and they allowed it to happen in the greatest country in the world. Now, some have cited, some have cited the metaphor that the president lit the flame. Well, they lit actual flames, actual fires, and we Time them out. Time expired. There will be order in the house. The gentleman from Ohio, do you wish to reserve your time? The gentleman